Hello Taurus and welcome to your September general reading. Taurus, these videos are generalized so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. If you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to work with you. So in this reading we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards. Taurus, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm going to ask you to do so as I release videos every single day. So, these are the tarot cards that we have and our first oracle card. It looks like you have an interesting reading on the cards here for you. Perfect. All right. Taurus, to get the best out of my readings, I encourage you to look at your sun sign your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because together this is going to give you a much fuller reading. So we are seeing you here in the month of September being very sharp with your speech, being very clear about what you want and communicating that really crystal clear. So right now when you're watching this video this is time to perhaps sit down and start drafting what you want to say because we're going to see you in September really sharp with not only your speech but also your mind because this is what the Ace of Swords is all about. Communication, truth, cutting to the truth of the matter is going to be really important. So what are you going to be talking about? What communication what are you going to be expressing? And this could be maybe on social media, you're really expressing yourself. Maybe on social media, you're there promoting your business, talking about this and that. So speaking is the thing that's going to be really lighting you up. And there is something that's going to be coming towards you very quickly because we have the eight of wands. So perhaps you are... I don't know, making YouTube videos and suddenly you're getting an offer from a company that says, hey, would you like to come and speak at our event? Event, Or now that we can't really have events anymore, would you like to maybe make a YouTube video for us? We'll pay you so much money and we can have an online communi community where you can speak about your thoughts, your ideas, whatever it is that is firing you up because the wands is all about those things that really fire, fires us up. So we're seeing you here in September being really passionate, creative, being determined to get a special, specific message out. So that is really interesting. And like I said, the companies or people or if you're doing a campaign on social media, you could see that it's paying off really well because we now have the Eight of Earth. And the Eight of Earth is all about our possessions, money, the things that make us feel good. So you are going to be really feeling good from the results that you are going to be getting from all this communication, these promotions that you're going to be doing. Because perhaps right now you're feeling like, oh, I don't know if it's worth spending money on advertising. I don't know if it's worth spending money trying to get the message out there. But then we're seeing that you're really passionate and you're seeing how you can communicate your message, your business out there into the world and not spend too much money. So you're getting in front of, of the camera. Maybe you're not the person who's really comfortable in front of the camera, but you're finding a way because it's important. And then you're surprised at how well received your message is. And so with the eight of earth, you're feeling really grounded, really happy, well paid for what you're bringing out into the world. And this card is really showing that you're taking the time to perfect, to learn how to deliver your message really well, really crystal clear. So now you could be 
preparing your speeches, you could be preparing your voice, you're in that mode of preparation because speaking is something that is really important here in September because now we've got Archangel Gabriel and he's all about speech. He's here talking about the fifth chakra, which is your throat. So your throat, your words, what you say is going to be really, really important here in September. So if you're watching this in August, start preparing your message because you're going to have Archangel Great Gabriel to call upon Archangel Gabriel to help you in this delivery of whatever it is that you're delivering. Perhaps in the comment section, you could comment and say, hey, this is what I'm working on. And importantly, we have an unfinished symphony. So could it be that you're a singer and you have music that you haven't finished or you've got many projects that you haven't finished that you want to communicate out into the world, but for some reason you start off really excited. You start off really passionate about your symphonies that you want to deliver to the world, but for some reason you never finish them. Well, with the Ace of Swords being here, this card is saying that this is the time to finish any unfinished projects because success is going to be on the card. So get to it and finish these projects because, like I said, maybe you write poet poetry and you are reading your poetry on Instagram, on YouTube, on social media, whatever it is that you're doing it. And suddenly someone comes up to you and say, hey, I love your poems. Do you have any more? Because I have this idea. And then you're going to be like, oh my God, yes, I do, but they're not finished. So now go and make sure that any projects that you've half finished, go start getting that passion back and really start finishing them because they're going to be coming in handy. So we have the goddess of fertility here and she is saying that this is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. So maybe your unfinished symphonies are unfinished because you started them and halfway through you lost inspiration, you lost passion, you just lost that certain something that you needed to make these symphonies special. But with the goddess of fertility here, she is saying to you that new idea, ideas, new inspiration is here for you. So get to it and get inspired to finish these projects that you haven't finished. So the next card here that we have is talking about a magical gateway. And this magical gateway is saying that it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So maybe you have felt that I want to start, I don't know, a YouTube channel. I want to start pitching my book to different companies. I want to start filling the blanks. But you, you start off writing paragraphs, you go blank and you don't know how to finish your books. Well, you have inspiration now to finish whatever projects that you haven't finished because now is the time to take these projects, these ideas and walk through that magical gateway. Start pitching your ideas to different companies, different people, because you're going to be surprised at who agrees to pick up your book, your music, your whatever it is that you're working on. So walk through that magical gateway and don't look back because the next card we have is telling you to honor your inner knowing 
because you know deep down there is something special about something you're working on you know deep down that this is time maybe right now you're in quarantine and you've got no excuse why you're not finishing these projects you have no excuse why you're not sending emails out dms to people you think are going to be interested in your projects because it is time and inside as you're hearing me speak your inner knowing is nudging you and agreeing with me so make sure you take action the last card stories that we have is talking about lost and found so perhaps you have lost your special pen <laughs> perhaps you have lost your inspiration perhaps you have lost your reason why this symphonies this project these ideas that you had why they were important to you why did you got started you've lost that spark you've lost that magic and so this card is saying what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. So perhaps you never even realized that you'd lost your inspiration, your passion, your fire, your spark, your drive, your magic. So now why not ask the lost and found fairy to deliver back that spark, that special something, that magic that you once had when you started this project, Taurus, there's nothing to lose, so why not? Ask the lost and found fairy and you never know what magic can happen for you here in September. So Taurus, this is the reading that I have for you. Again, if you need your own special reading done, my website is in the description box below. Get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to look at your circumstances and remember to subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out a lot. On that note, I will see you in my next videos and it's a goodbye from me.